Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a news video for you. Just a short update here on some new Funko Pops. They've been announced previously but now we actually have glam shots of those Pops. And I'm talking about the Bullet Club Pops. And uh, sorry if I sound bunged up in this video guys, I'm a bit under the weather so you have to excuse that. But anyway, these are brand new Funko Pops. These are the first wrestling Pops we are getting that are not WWE. I'm a huge wrestling fan and a, and a huge fan of the Bullet Club. So let's waste no time and get a look at the first pop in the wave. And here we're taking the first look at Kenny Omega. This is the first pop in the wave. This is name number one in the set. And it's a fantastic looking pop, just like Kenny. I think Kenny Omega is one of the best wrestlers, professional wrestlers on the planet. He really is. He's fantastic. And he's a great member of the Bullet Club. And uh, quite honestly, I think this is a great pop. It's a must-have. And um, I cannot wait to pick this up. If you're a fan of wrestling in general, not just WWE, you know these guys. You know what they're made of. You know who they are. So... Pick up these Bullet Club Pops, I urge you to, because if they if these do well, we'll get more, because unfortunately the other Bullet Club member, Marty Scroll, uh, has not got a pop coming out, and I would really like to see a Funko Pop of Marty, as he's an awesome wrestler here from the UK, who have had the pleasure of meeting several times before, but this would be a fantastic Funko, this is a fantastic Funko Pop for number one in the New Japan Pro Wrestling set, and I really think they're going to um, succeed very well. And then in number two in the set, we have the American Nightmare, Cody, a.k.a. Cody Rhodes. You can't use his last name for legal reasons, but Cody, but Cody is one hell of a wrestler, and he's done the best thing ever by leaving the WWE. He's made such a success outside the WWE, it's unreal. That picture on the front of the box there with the dream tattoo, obviously, Cody Rhodes is the son of Dusty Rhodes, the son of a son of a plumber, Cody Rhodes, with the dream tattoo nicely on his chest, I really like that, and he looks mega ripped in that uh, box art photo there, but I'm so glad Cody's got this Funko Pop, he really deserves it, Cody Rhodes is such an underrated wrestler when he was in the WWE, he should have been a WWE, at least a heavyweight champion or a Money in the Bank winner or something, I know he had a lot of success there, but they should have used him better, and I know I'm rambling on about wrestling here, but I'm a huge wrestling fan, and uh, Cody Rhodes is one of my um, all-time favourites, and uh, I'm really glad to see him getting this uh, Funko Pop, and maybe we can even get Brandy Rhodes in the future, depending on how well these New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling Pops go. Now guys, we have finally this two-pack of the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, in most people's opinion, the best tag team on the planet, Personally, not my favourite tag team on the planet, but I think these guys are fantastic. One of them comes there with the Bullet Club headband on, which is fantastic. And they chose great ring attire for these two here, with all the tassels and stuff. They just look great. The king of the super kicks, these two guys are. They are fantastic. And there's, I have never owned a two-pack of Funko Pops, because they've never really made something to shout it out to me. But this will be the first one. These, All these pops up for pre-order on Forbidden Planet right now, guys. So get over there and pre-order. We're showing the New Japan Pops of love. So we can get that Marty Scroll pop. I'd love a normal Marty Scroll, a scroll, sorry, and then I would like Marty Scroll with that doctor's mask on that he wears. That'd be fantastic as a chase. That'd be really cool. But nonetheless, we've got the Bullet Club guys. I would like them to have Bullet Club T-shirts on a bit more Bullet Club mentioned in these pops because the bandana is the only thing in these ones. But Matt and Nick are looking fantastic here, and they're really great looking pops. So guys, that was a close look at the pops of the New Japan Pro Wrestling. Basically, the new Bullet Club Pops. These will be available from August. They're pre-order on August on Forbidden Planet. And they're Hot Topic in America. I think they're coming out. The Tumble Pack's coming out an exclusive with a pop tee at Hot Topic in America. Then they'll be re-released everywhere. So look out for all these guys, if you're a wrestling fan, that is. I've waffled on a bit about wrestling here, but I'm a huge fan of wrestling. WWE, New Japan, Ring of Honor, the lot. Even TNA sometimes I will watch that. But if you'd like me to do more wrestling videos on this channel, let me know. Drop me a comment below. Drop me a comment anyway. Drop me a comment anyway, guys, and let me know what you think of the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega and Cody, the um, pops in this wave. And let me know if you're going to pick them up. And let me know what other wrestling pops you would like to see. Uh, there's many other wrestlers that I would love to be seen in Funko Pop form. So let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description below, guys. Follow me out on those um, two social medias. That would be great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for all the latest Funko news videos. And um, hit that notification bell, guys. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.